everyone welcome to another episode of mind reader um, in today's episode I'm going to talk about uh, ADHD again like in the previous episode I talked about what is ADHD and what are the types of ADHD in today's episode I'm going to talk about the causes of ADHD and what is the treatment for ADHD so before I start I would like to remind you guys again and again that don't forget to subscribe to our Grow Your Reader YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our Grow Your Reader Facebook page. And of course, if you like our video, don't forget to share and obviously comment. So let's begin. What are the causes of ADHD? Like I said before, ADHD is a very much of a neurodevelopmental disorder so which affects their um, inability to pay focus on something and you know which builds the disruptive behaviors so what are what causes ADHD so there's been a lot of research a lot of studies on um, what is the reason behind uh, ADHD Although the main reason or the main cause of the um, you know disorder has not been yet uh, found, but the recent studies do suggest that maybe there is a link with um, the genetical disorder. Also, they also want to take into consideration about the fact that if there is any brain injury of, of the child, or you know if there is any environmental exposure when the mother was pregnant or you know when the child was really tough, small um, you know if there is any um, 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 any kind of substance abuse that the mother was be do was doing or, you know when the child was when she was pregnant etc however certain uh, studies that say that you know if there is too much intake of uh, salt or sugar then you know it uh, children like to have ADHD or you know if they tend to not move a lot or if they are in a you know in poor conditions these uh, are a lot um, these reasons are very much available on the internet but they uh, the studies or the researchers don't support the reason behind this causing ADHD so so far what we do know is that the genetical this or uh, there might be genetics involved in the creation of the, this disorder. So now let's go to what are the treatments of ADHD. So if you want to treat um, ADHD for a child, the best is if you do a combination of behavior therapy along with medication. Because you know, when, you, when a child is affected with ADHD, um, he is not only um, you know affect I mean uh, affecting I mean it's not only affecting his environment but also his uh, relationship with his family his relationship with um, his school his teachers his surroundings are also being affected so that's one of the reasons that both the combination are actually um, best uh, for the treatment and the earliest is possible I mean it could start from preschool age between four to five years for every disorder you know the earlier the diagnosis is started the much better the results are so let's start with behavior therapy so what is behavior therapy behavior therapy is um, um, a therapy that would go in order make the goal of behavior therapy is that they would just um, flourish the positive uh, positive behaviors within the child and try to um, diminish the unwanted uh, disruptive behavior of the child so behavior therapy would include behavior management um, uh, training for with parents um, parents um, with behavior therapy with parents and their children and also like you know how should the parents handle um, the you know how should the, how the parents should handle the um, the disruptive behavior of the child which is affected with ADHD so for medication is that medication is not um, necessarily started at, at such an early age. It's uh, best if you start at a later age. However, there are a lot of medications that are FDA approved um, recently. But two types are there. There is stimulants and non-stimulants. Stimulants, however, are very fastly reactive. 
and are, not, are given to a child um, later on, not at a such an early stage. Um, Non-stimulants are not uh, as quickly um, as reactive as the stimulants, but however, the, their lasting remains for 24 hours. Medications, however, do have uh, side effects, um, you know, for, for, for the child who is affecting ADHD. Actually, the medica medicines work differently for every child, but the side effects do include, like, you know, loss of appetite, um, drowsiness, sleepy, nausea, etc. So yeah, so this is uh, me talking about the causes and the treatments of ADHD. I hope, really hope you found this video very much helpful. In our next episode, we are going to talk about what is Tourette's syndrome. So this is a very common syndrome, especially very famous among the celebrities. So I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode.